Hello everyone and welcome back to another Builds for Every Block video. Now today's block of choice is actually a multi-block selection because I feel that I should group them together. And those are the B blocks, which include beehives, honeycomb blocks, and honey blocks. Now the reason why I grouped the honey blocks and beehives together is because they all require the use of bees somewhere along the line of creating them. So I grouped them together. So now we're on the same page. Let's get to planning, shall we? So, this board may seem a little anemic, however the simple answer to that is that everywhere I looked for inspiration was either weird humanoid bees or just pictures of beehives. So they weren't particularly helpful or particularly creative. However, I did find these two images. The first one here is a honeycomb shaped storage container and the other is a carpentry project that was meant for beehives. I really like the storage container as I could implement beehives in a creative way rather than just making a beehive shaped base and calling it a day. And as for the carpentry picture, I really just used it as a complement to the honey containers because I really liked the idea of having some slotted roofs in the base to make it feel more open to the environment. Which ultimately didn't pan out as the slotted roofs were just a bit odd looking. So with these two images, I can now create the plan for the build. So for starters, I used the storage containers for the overall shape of the base, and then started placing rooms in places I felt would make the most sense. Storage rooms near the ground floor for easy access, and everything else wherever. Now I did change the final shape of the build, as it had a very unfortunately phallic shape to it. So I just chopped the top compartment off, and I think it looked a lot better being as it was kind of tall, but also kind of phallic looking. So I had to change it somehow. Uh, and it's also a bit more compact now, which is always a plus. Uh, but yeah, overall, this is a pretty straightforward plan, so I'm not going to go into the nitty gritty here. So with the plan finished, let's build this thing. All right, fun fact time. If you place a trap door in front of a beehive, it still allows bees to enter the hive, however, they can no longer leave, ultimately making it a one-way door, as long as the trap door is actually covering the entrance, of course. Now, this is a really helpful tip for any of you who want to collect honey and not be bothered by angry bees. So, if you enjoyed my fun little fact, make sure to leave a like on the video. I really appreciate it. Now, five facts aside, let's build this thing. So for starters, I actually used a tool to make these hexagons, because I was at a loss on how to make them actually look nice. So I used this really useful tool. It's almost like a circle chart generator, except it's for hexagons. So now let's put down the framework. I used yellow concrete to create three hexagon compartments. Initially it was four, however as I said earlier, it had a phallic look, and it was also too tall. So I just chopped the top compartment off, and now we're left with three. So, let's start on the bottom. I split the hexagons into two halves, as I could more efficiently utilize the space this way. I felt that if I didn't split them in half, I would have left a lot of real estate on the table. As for the first room, I felt it's important to have storage in a really easy to access location, such as the entrance. Because we all know that you will forget something sometimes, so being able to just quickly run back and get whatever you needed is very important. So that's why they're next to the entrances. Now, both of these compartments are mostly mirrored, However, the upper level is slightly different between the two. As for the walls, I decided to split them into six slices, because if I left it as a whole hexagon, it felt too flat and empty. So I used yellow terracotta for a slightly different color, and filled in the holes with honeycomb blocks and some occasional orange glass for windows. Also, another thing I added inside is a striped pattern for the floor, using beehives and spruce planks because bees have that iconic yellow striped pattern, and so I wanted that striped pattern to be on the floor. As for the difference between the two side compartments, there really only is one main difference, that being the yellow and brown bed on the right. Being as this build is kind of a weird shape, I didn't know where to put the dedicated bedroom, so I just found a convenient place for the beds and put it down there. Also, the bridge follows the same striped pattern along the floor, however, instead of beehives, it's just oak planks. Now, you can also just replace all of the beehives with oak planks and you have a pretty much the same look, being as they both have very similar textures and colors as well. So if you don't want to farm 
an excessive amount of honeycomb for this base, which you will already have to do anyways, you can do that route as well. Now for the upper compartment. This is broken up into two sections with the outdoor farm area. The lower part of this upper hexagon is only used to get up to the upper half, as this section is kind of a weird shape, and I needed space to get up to the up area, so I chose not to put anything in here, except for the staircase, of course. As for the upper platform, this is the smelting and farming area. I put two farms on top of both of the lower compartments, because I felt this would be a really good use of space here. Something else to note here is the three yellow terracotta strips going along the side of the build. Initially, these were just open air, as I wanted to integrate the slotted design for my references. However, as I said earlier, they kind of looked a bit weird. So instead of that, I put in a window using orange and yellow glass to also achieve stripes. And then I also used yellow terracotta to have a darker yellow stripe going throughout the build as well. I think it's a really nice touch, as this is a B base and I think it would be a crime not to include some sort of stripe throughout the base. So I felt that this would be the perfect way to do that. Now for the finishing touches. Firstly, I added some honey globules throughout the honeycomb slices because this is a bee base and honey is stored in the honeycombs. So I felt this would be the perfect way to integrate honey into the build. As for the area under the bridge, I felt this could be used as an impromptu honey farm with some beehives and flowers spread underneath the bridge. This could be a really nice way to kind of also have bees, you know, floating around the base as well. And with those added, everything is finished. Overall, I think this is probably one of my more unorthodox builds. It's definitely different, and not for everyone, that's for sure, since the whole build is very yellow. However, I do think it turned out pretty great. I think it has everything I wanted, but I do feel like the center lower area is a bit lacking, being as it's only staircases. So, if there's one area to improve, that would definitely be the area that I would want to improve. But, that aside, I'm still happy with how this turned out. So if you enjoyed the build, make sure to leave a like on the video, and subscribe for future content like this. But yeah, that's it. See you guys next time.